Hello, this is Dr. Alex Vasquez, and this is uh, part one introduction on the topic of psoriasis. Information in this presentation comes mostly from the research I reviewed in my book, Understanding and Treating Psoriasis and Psoriatic Arthritis, a guide for patients and doctors using integrative and functional medicine. This information was updated from my previous publications on this topic in my textbook, Integrative Rheumatology and Chiropractic and Naturopathic Mastery of Common Clinical Disorders. All of these books and additional information are available from my website, optimalhealthresearch.com. The books are available from amazon.com and many other bookstores. Before we start the information on psoriasis, what I'd like to do here is give you a quick overview of my educational and uh, professional background so that you'll have some understanding of the perspective from which I speak. My education is that of a Doctor of Chiropractic uh, graduate of University of Western States in Portland, Oregon, Doctor of Naturopathic Medicine graduate of Bastyr University near Seattle, Washington, and a Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine graduate of University of North Texas Health Science Center in Fort Worth, Texas. I've certainly read thousands of articles and books, and I've amassed thousands of hours of postgraduate training in seminars, clinics, and hospitals, uh, many years of experience working with thousands of patients. Publications and presentations, I'm an international lecturer to physicians and clinicians on integrative medicine and functional medicine, as well as various aspects of preventive health care and nutrition. I've written several textbooks for doctors and health science students. I've authored approximately 100 articles and letters in professional magazines and peer-reviewed scientific journals. My current professional activities include acting as an associate, adjunct, and affiliate faculty member for several universities and postgraduate institutions, compiling research, conducting research, and authoring books and articles as well as seeing patients. I'm also active in healthcare product design, and I have more information on my seminars, presentations, and textbooks at optimalhealthresearch.com and more information about my private practice uh, within the scope of naturopathic medicine here in Portland, Oregon at HealGrowThriveMedicine.com. So regarding the formatting of this presentation, my initial intent was to review all three of these articles within the same presentation. However, when I did that, the length of the presentation was 25 minutes, which exceeds the 15-minute limit on YouTube. So what I've had to do with this first presentation is actually split it up into the first three presentations. Once I get to the fourth presentation, I'll try to format them more concisely so I can review more individual research articles in fewer slides. So in the third and final article that I want to review for this uh, brief presentation on psoriasis is this article from Journal of Investigative Dermatology in 2003, the May issue. The uh, title of this article is Allelic Variants of Drug Metabolizing Enzymes as Risk Factors in Psoriasis. What the article uh, states quite clearly from the quote that I'll provide is that this is the first large-scale study on these detoxifying enzymes, and the results obtained support the concept that different activities of drug metabolizing enzymes can contribute to the disease cause or etiology and the progression of psoriasis. So let me read that one more time. This is the first large-scale study on these detoxifying enzymes, and the results obtained support the concept that different activities of drug metabolizing enzymes can contribute to disease etiology and progression among patients who have psoriasis. So let me break that down perhaps into slightly more simple terms. What the authors did for this research is they looked at uh, genetic markers for certain enzymes in the body that the body uses to get rid of uh, toxic chemicals such as pollution or medications uh, in order for the body to purify itself and just deal with the environment it has to have ways of detoxifying as we commonly say and that detoxification process is an enzyme requiring process usually described uh, as we would say, phase one and phase two. Usually there are two steps to it. So what the authors of this study found is that patients with psoriasis often have defects in both phase one and phase two. 
even though the risk is increased even if they just have a defect, for example, in phase one. So this article lends pretty strong support, again showing that psoriasis is not simply a skin disease, it is a systemic disorder, and that these patients have inherited a genetic abnormality in their ability to detoxify foreign chemicals from their environment and the, the best correlation in the research is with certain drugs, certain drugs that are used to treat uh, malaria, for example, generally called anti-malarial drugs, and another class of drugs called beta blockers, commonly used to treat hypertension and anxiety. Those drugs have been quite commonly associated with the onset and worsening of psoriasis in patients who have the condition, and it might be due to the fact that those patients have defects in their detoxifying enzymes also called uh, drug metabolizing enzymes. So again, when we're addressing and treating and understanding psoriasis, we need to do so from a holistic, integrative, multidimensional viewpoint that takes in all of these different aspects of the condition so that we can treat it most effectively. So the conclusions and summary of this brief three-article review have shown us that Psoriasis is a systemic inflammatory disease. It is not simply a skin disease. And psoriasis behaves and has pathologic features consistent with an autoimmune disease. Number two, molecular mimicry between human skin keratin and bacterial M peptide causes immune cross reactivity. Number three, patients with psoriasis may have their condition triggered or worsened by certain drugs, such as lithium beta blockers or anti-malarial drugs, their susceptibility may be due to gene-based defects in their detoxification enzymes. The implication of all this information is that psoriasis needs to be treated by comprehensive plans that address many complex facets of the immune dysfunction and the systemic inflammation. What I am against is the idea that psoriasis is and should therefore be treated as a skin disease the research clearly shows that psoriasis is a systemic inflammatory disease, that its characteristics are consistent with an autoimmune condition. There is an abundance of, epi of uh, research showing that molecular mimicry between human keratin and bacterial proteins uh, appears to cause immune cross-reactivity in these patients. And furthermore, that these patients have defects in their uh, detoxification abilities and that affects their ability to metabolize not only medications but also environmental toxins. So again, the implications are that these patients need to receive treatment plans that are comprehensive, multifaceted, and which address many of these concerns as well as others that we'll review in, in upcoming uh, presentations. So again, this has been Dr. Alex Vasquez. If you're interested in my books, they're available on the internet at optimalhealthresearch.com and uh, other bookstores such as Amazon.com. My books uh, include uh, Integrative Orthopedics, Integrative Rheumatology, Chiropractic and Naturopathic Mastery of Common Clinical Disorders, Integrative Medicine and Functional Medicine for Chronic Hypertension, which is an evidence-based monograph on the treatment of high blood pressure, and also Understanding and Treating Psoriasis and Psoriatic Arthritis, a guide for patients and doctors using integrative medicine and functional medicine. Thank you for your interest in these topics and in my publications and clinical work. For additional information, please see my websites at optimalhealthresearch.com and healgrowthrivemedicine.com for my naturopathic medicine practice here in Portland, Oregon.